In our culture today, the American flag has become a lightning rod, a cause for division in some groups of people. When I was growing up, we stood for the flag and honored it during the Pledge of Allegiance or National Anthem. The stars and stripes represented American freedom, liberty, and patriotism, principles hard-earned by those who died to defend them. Well, my family still honors the American flag. In fact, I still get the chills when I stand for the national anthem and face the stars and stripes at one of my kids' sporting events. I guess I'm a sucker for America and what makes our nation so special. And when I think of great American flags, I think of a pretty huge one flying in Virginia just across the Potomac River from the National Mall. Whenever I'm in Washington, D.C., I try to make a point to visit. This is the Iwo Jima Memorial, just outside Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia, also known as the United States Marine Corps War Memorial. It's dedicated to all Marines who have given their lives in defense of America since the start of the Revolutionary War in 1775. This is one of my favorite memorials, inspired by an iconic 1945 photograph of six Marines raising the U.S. flag on the island of Iwo Jima during World War II. It's super impressive with these 32-foot bronze figures raising a 60-foot bronze flagpole on a memorial that rises 78 feet overall. The flag flies 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, by presidential proclamation. Here's some of the history. The tiny island of Iwo Jima lies 660 miles south of Tokyo, Japan. Mount Suribachi, an extinct volcano that forms the southern end of the island, rises 550 feet to dominate the ocean around it. U.S. troops had recaptured most of the other islands in the Pacific Ocean that the Japanese took in 1941 and 1942. By 1945, Iwo Jima had become a primary objective in the American strategy to bring the War of the Pacific to an end. On the morning of February 19, 1945, the 4th and 5th Marine Divisions invaded Iwo Jima. The 28th Regiment of the 5th Division was ordered to capture Mount Suribachi. They reached the base of the mountain on the afternoon of February 21st, and by nightfall the next day had almost surrounded it. On the morning of February 23rd, Marines of Company E, 2nd Battalion, started the treacherous climb to the top. At about 10.30 a.m., men all over the island cheered when they saw a small American flag flying atop Mount Suribachi. That afternoon, when the mountain was clear of enemy resistance, a second, larger flag was raised in the same location. Joe Rosenthal of the Associated Press caught the second flag raising in a famous photograph that won a Pulitzer Prize and later became the model for the Iwo Jima Memorial. Despite the capture of Mount Suribachi, the Battle of Iwo Jima would rage on for another month. It was some of the fiercest and bloodiest fighting in the Pacific theater, with 6,821 U.S. troops killed. The statue of six Marines, three of which later died in the battle, would become a fitting tribute to the courage and resolve of U.S. Marines everywhere. Once the statue was completed in plaster, it was carefully disassembled and trucked to Brooklyn, New York for casting in bronze. The casting process, which required the work of expert craftsmen, took nearly three years. After the parts were cast, cleaned, and treated, they were reassembled into approximately a dozen pieces, the largest weighing more than 20 tons, and trucked back to Virginia. Here, they were bolted and welded together on this granite base. President Dwight D. Eisenhower dedicated the memorial on November 10, 1954, 
the 179th anniversary of the United States Marine Corps. The Iwo Jima Memorial is truly inspiring, containing the location and date of every major Marine Corps action up to the present time. It also contains some powerful inscriptions that communicate the dedication and sacrifice of the United States Marines throughout American history. These are my favorites. Uncommon valor was a common virtue. And Semper Fidelis, the Marine Corps' Latin motto, which means always faithful.